you, if we say something, just give us an example of how you what your experience was. Gotcha. Normal conversation. We was at home kicking over a game of dominoes. All right, we're live. We're live. I was trying to find my music. Sorry. My mouse was acting up, you guys. We're going to spend a few minutes just to introduce you guys. Uh, let me see. I'm going to put the comments on. Where my music? Okay. Capri, where my music? Oh, right here. It's called my hype music. <laughs> it's mine, so they won't cut me off. All right, you guys. We have uh, Marcus is supposed to join us today. We have quite a few people on the panel today to address this major life topic that's been going on. It's a global topic, shall I say, not just a U.S. topic. And um, I felt it was necessary for me to restructure our curriculum. And we do have a real curriculum for you guys. I thought it was necessary for us to revamp everything and to stay current on what's going on in the world today. That's why our topic for today is going to be what are cryptocurrencies or what is a cryptocurrency? Um, uh, you all know who I am. Again, it's Wealth Wednesday. Capri Trevelyan bring you some advice you can bank on. If you are, let me see, get the banner. If you are uh, watching right now, I'd like for you to like, comment, and share in the comment section. Like, comment, share. Share it, of course. Drop your name. I want to know where you're from so we'll know who we're communicating with. We want to know what's your current situation? How can we assist you? Um Let's start introducing ourselves. I know it's ladies first. We'll go respect the elders. We'll see you first. My name is Sharon Richards Trevelyan, uh, better known to my daughter as Bootzilla. And um, I'm not going to talk about my background, but I'm an entrepreneur representing four generations. All these and are basically, that's it. <laughs> and I'm going to be your spiritual That's what individual. I was like. She's here to drop the knowledge and let you know how this is parallel to uh, the word. To let you know we're just not telling you what we feel. We want to let you know this is something that's biblical, all right? Who's next? I'll go next just because my phone probably going to break, break up and off. Because I'm multitasking, driving, dropping off kids and all that good stuff. I am Tara Joy Coleman. Um, Dr. TJC, they call me at work. Um, I'm the assistant principal in at Imagine Schools in Arizona. So, I'm are you a trader? I can't hear you. Are you a trader? Yes, I am. How about that? I bought some a couple of days ago for the first time. Look at me! But I knew what I was doing. That's why I'm here to learn to make sure I'm I'm in the right spot at the right time. All right, uh, Tony. All right. Hi, guys. I'm Tonya Fairbanks. I am um, an educator and um, learning, doing more learning about trading. Um, so glad to be here and to be able to share with you guys what I'm learning and what I have learned and what I will continue to learn. Johnny B in the house. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Johnny B. I am also a trader. I'm also a parking employee for a little over 20 years. And I'm also uh, a professional barber. I've been doing that for a little over 20 years as well. And I'm on here to try to soak up all the knowledge from the Miss Diva of cur uh, Digital Currency and, um, you know, share what little information I know from my experience with trading with cryptocurrency and stock market and Forex. All right. And you all know who I am. I am Capri Trevelyan. Uh the diva of digital currency, the diva of financial literacy, uh, the real estate guru. Mainly my platform is uh, all jokes aside. It's real estate and or financial literacy. And that encompasses anything from real estate taxes, insurance, life insurance, investments, and now cryptocurrency. <laughs> the new thing, you guys, is the new thing. But that's my job. My job is to be the professor and disseminate the information to you guys. So our topic for today is what are uh, <coughs> uh, share my screen as always. Again, I, they didn't really go too much in detail, but three out of the five of us are educated. Um, so you will have, we will always, let me see this. We will present a different format because of my background and, and our background as educators. 
our format will be a tad bit different than a traditional um, podcast or live because of our experience. So basically, okay. we want to deliver our presentation um, more so in a differentiated format instead of us just getting on here talking to you. You always know me as the one who's going to give you some visuals, crack some jokes. So we're going to put a disclaimer out there. If anybody's on here, you can't be on here sensitive. So make sure you're ready to rock and roll. I do not see any comments in there so far. And I could have swear I said uh, like, comment, like, comment, and like, share. Comment. You guys, boy, if it was me, y'all would be in detention right now. <laughs> they have detentions? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. They, they would be in detention right now if it was a <laughs> So that's how I feel about it. So what are <laughs> cryptocurrencies? Um, anybody in the audience? I see we have a Shirley Daniels. Thank you for joining. Crystal Marie. Hi, what Mama. Are guys, what do you guys think a cryptocurrency are? Dropping up in, dropping in comments for us. What do you guys think? Think, think, think. I want while they're typing that, I want to give you guys a, uh, what we call a hook in uh, teaching. I want to share something with you, and I'm going to show you how it's going to correlate. Long, long, not, not a long time ago, but I'm telling my age. But basically, when I was in, uh, not basically, these are facts, you guys. When I was in high school, where I lived in Detroit, Michigan, right? And originally from the east side, if we have any uh, Michiganders on here. And um, I went to Pershing High School, Coney Guard, Seven Mile East Side. Yeah, what's up? Okay. <laughs> I, that out there. I recently went to Pershing High School, which is a family legacy from my grandmother, my mom, everyone attended Pershing High School on East Seven Mile. So, of course, when I became a ninth grader, I went to Pershing High School. But there was one incident that uh, happened that changed my life. And the girls might be following me nowadays. I don't know if they're on Facebook or not. Um, if they are, thank you for doing what you did. But anyway, um, there was an incident where I was I was disliked by a few women. We're not going to go into why. Um, but I was disliked by a few women who felt that they had the 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 um, word thought to beat me up. You see what I said? Thought. So y'all are in the outcome. <laughs> see where the muscles come from? Look it up. Yeah. But anyway, make a long story short, these five, who know those trace parts of These five, yeah, girl, I see you with the Spanish. <laughs> I told you I'm trying to think. Right <laughs> these five women, big women too, and all the little video thing, these little hits and stuff I got now, I didn't have back in the day. So these five women thought that they were going to beat little old Capri up. But of course, I had a couple goons myself, um, very good friends. It was Cheryl Travis. And um, Ducky, Carmelita, Bird, that's the, her nickname, who lived in my neighborhood. So make a long story short, they caught me at my locker on the, I think it was the second floor. They caught me at my locker one day and they tried to beat me up, make a long story short. We ended up being in a holding tank. Uh, moms came and got me. Um, R.I.P. Uh, Benny Napoleon. He, you, my mom used a red phone to call Benny to get me out of the holding tank. And if you're in Detroit, you know who Benny Napoleon is, so rest in peace. And they did it. They needed to get me out of there. And for whatever reason, I'm not going to say for whatever reason, the Detroit Public School District, District thought that it was in their best interest to have me expelled from Detroit Public Schools. Like literally not go home for three days. They said, we want to kick you out of our school district. Why? Because I did the most damage to those girls. Make a long story short. Five on one. It was two at the office. My own girl, own girl helped me. The other one got away. They didn't, they didn't get hurt. We didn't snitch. <laughs> but make a long story short. That changed, meaning my mom, I got kicked out of Detroit Public Schools. And for those of you that don't know, Detroit Public School District or Detroit period is 85, 87% African-American. So my environment was just strictly blacks so my mom had to figure out what to do with this child what what i'm gonna do with you you got kicked out of school everybody in the family went so i had to hear the whole story so um she eventually put me into private school i hated it coming from detroit persian private school saint luther luther at that and i'm christian i was it was horrible and then that did not work out so i ended up going to I'm not going to say it was a worse situation, but at the time I thought it was worse. I ended up going <laughs> to Gross Point North, which was all white. So I go from an all, all black school to a all white school where it's only three African-Americans. 
and it was an African guy, myself, and a young lady named Nikki. Okay. Major life change. Did I have to adapt? Yes. How did I adapt? I just assimilated and I learned how to code switch very, very well. And but at that time, I wasn't, I didn't receive it very well. You know what I'm saying? As a child, you don't know any better that this is a better situation for you. Take it, learn from it and keep it going. I didn't realize at that time that that was a very good investment that my mom made. She had to move from Detroit over to the Gross Point School District. There's a lot of sacrifices, but that change in my life is the reason why I am here today. It's literally because going to that actual, um, Gross Point North High School positioned me to end up going to Michigan State, which in return put me around different, you know, like-minded individuals, um, people that had goals and was driven to do something with their lives. And actually my life propelled from there on out. But the point I'm trying to make is that change that I was forced to, I was not, I didn't have a choice. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. I was forced to do it. She was forced to put me in another. It was non-negotiable. Hey, the daughter. <laughs> this to this child, knock this tooth out, put a gash in his head. She's a danger to <laughs> our environment. She got to go. Really? This pretty face? I really think I was that bad. No. <laughs> Don't be. No. <laughs> <laughs> I could want to be. So basically, to make a long story short, I had to change. I was forced to. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And this is an example of what we're experiencing right now today. That was back in 19... I graduated in uh, 90. No, that was in the 80s. 80s, yeah, because I graduated in 90. So that was a long time ago, and I was forced to change. And here we are again. We're forced to change, make changes in our lives. And if we don't get on the boat, we're going to drown. I'm going to be honest with you. You either gonna, No one's going to send you a life jacket. You're going to have to make a decision on if you're going to adapt or get ahead of the curve like I did. Well, like my mama made me do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Or you're gonna be left behind saying I coulda, woulda, and shoulda. And this is not the 80s, this is not the 90s. There's no excuse for our people to be abreast or be aware of what's going on and be prepared because of the internet. It's at the tip of your fingers. When I got in trouble, I had to pull encyclopedias down and do everything. So what we're doing, or why I felt that was necessary <laughs> for me to restructure our topics and restructure our curriculum was because we're forced to change how we spend money. Right. How we acquire money. Everything is about to change. And if you're not watching this, uh, if you are watching this, please share it because you may be able to help your your kids. Are gonna it's gonna be the norm for them because they're gonna walk right into it as it's like this the way of life. Like, mom, what are you talking about? I got, I've been here crypto. So for us, cryptocurrency is going to be something that's new, but mm -hmm. we're forced to change whether you want to or not. So this is what we're going to talk about today. A little bit about. Crypto, what is it? Why is it so popular? What are the benefits? Um, what you should know before buying them and when was it created? Those are our remaining four topics that will be discussed for the next couple of weeks. But today, we just want to highlight exactly what is this stuff everybody's talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm hearing all this stuff about crypto and Bitcoin. It's another language for us. Okay. Did anybody want to add into that? Before we go into the actual, what is it? Okay. So basically, <laughs> no currency. They laughing at me. Yeah. Hey, Capri. Yes, this is a perfect time if it's okay. You're making an excellent point about transition mm -hmm. and being forced. So if it's okay with you, one of the scriptures that is directly relating to what you're talking about is Joshua 1, verse 9. What happened? And to give you a, a backdrop, it says, when um, Joshua took over from Moses to lead the people to the promised land, it wasn't his choice. He was mm -hmm. chosen to do it. Mm -hmm. And after 400 years of slavery under the jurisdiction of Pharaoh, Okay, so he had to now lead. He had no uh, experience in leading, so he had to make a major transition to lead millions of people to the promised land. And this That's is what me. the Lord said to him. Moses, my servant, is dead. Have I not commanded you to be strong and of good courage? 
Don't be afraid nor be dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with you wherever you go. And he was so, with me, y'all, because when I got kicked out, I was scared. When he was trying to beat me up, I didn't know what I was going to do. So I just grabbed a lock and bust my mouth. So he told me to do that. <laughs> That's how he was with me. He said, I'm not going to let them girls beat you up. We're going to make a point. I'm going to get you out of here. That's what he did. So yeah. <laughs> thank you, Boosie. Thank you. So that's exactly what we're doing right now. We're, we're, we have to, from a biblical standpoint, we have to graciously take the first step. That's mm -hmm. one of my uh, slogans. You have to take the first step. But of course, you're going to be scared, but knowledge is power. Everyone mm -hmm. has fear of the unknown. And this cryptocurrency is the unknown. Yeah. And don't be embarrassed to say, I don't know, because that's right. normal. If you know better, you'll do better. Right. right. That's right. my goal is to educate us so we can make better decisions when it comes to our finances. So let's go into it. According to Nerd, yeah, it would be Nerd Wallet, would it? According to Nerd Wallet, digital currency is just what it is. It's digital. Okay. It's an it has an online uh, ledger with strong cryptography to cryptography to secure online transactions. So basically, it's a way to participate in e-commerce from a digital standpoint. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the internet is digital. Everything you do online. Uh, what is that new thing? They do cash app and right. all that. Cash app, Venmo, Zelle. Exactly. You're transferring money digitally. You're not literally giving them hand. I mean, you got an actual a currency, meaning a dollar or coins. So if it's done from a digital aspect, it's digital currency. Now let's go in a little deeper about cryptocurrency. Okay. So crypto comes from the, the word cryptography. That's a, a very, very, shall I say, a high level of technology. Some yeah. smart, uh, we're going to go into who originated us. Some smart individuals went and created a, a um, what do you call that? Uh, uh, I don't yeah. know. No, they created a system oh. that couldn't be hacked. Uh, uh huh. OK, and it's like coding. That's what I want to say. Some high level of coding. And they decided we're going to take this, this coin and attach value to it. But it's all in the clouds. It's digital. It's digital. Like I have Dropbox. It's digital. It's up there. OK, mm -hmm. I want to break down the difference, though. OK, because one thing I noticed is when the Amazon and uh, what was it? Uh, GameStop. Who oh, I'm missing, Johnny B. Uh, AMC. Game, right. yeah, yeah, last game, week. yeah, last week everybody went up in the room. Oh my God, I don't want to invest because it was. Let me explain something to you guys. You need to know. Do not make rational, irrational decisions when you haven't been educated on it. Okay, you need right. to know the difference between a centralized system and decentralized. And when I say systems, I'm referencing the financial industry. Right, the Federal Reserve, our banking institutions, our credit institutions, all the way down to uh, Western Union, even Cash App, because they charge us to do stuff too. Right. So back in the day, <laughs> there was something called fiat currency, and it's just what you see: our dollar bills and our coins. That is no; it's worth nothing more than the paper is written on. It wasn't until it was backed by gold. This is the Federal Reserve; they created all this taxation and all this little system. Okay. So right. now remember when you're dealing with federal reserves, you're dealing with things of that nature, you're dealing with the government. Okay. Right. It's regulated. Okay. Mm -hmm. they monitor your transactions. The government is probably listening to what we're saying right now. They monitor your transactions. Yeah. There's high fees involved. Just think about it right now. You probably never wonder how your bank make money. You put your money in there and you pull it in and out. They make money. The number one way they make money is NSF fees. Yep. You could be over two dollars, and they're gonna charge you thirty four ninety five because you was over two dollars. Now that's the biggest hustle, or, or the biggest uh, uh, what you call it, long shot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so make a long story short. To give you an example, Western Union. When you go to Western Union to send money, don't they charge you? Mm hmm. They do. Cash app. They give you an option. If you want it immediately, it's going to be a 1% fee. Who don't yep. want the money immediately? 
Wait two days and we'll give you all the money. And what do we say 90% of the time? Oh, man, that little dollar and 10 cent. <laughs> but those little dollars and 10 cents or what are those little they things? Add they add up. Tell them. They add up. And that's how they make money. But there's more fraud when you're dealing with these types of um, centralized banking systems. The, the fraud is, is just off the chain. Has anyone ever experienced fraud before? Mm -hmm. I actually experienced it last month. What happened? Um, I had a, a fraudulent charge of $109 on my account. And I was like, wait a minute, hold on. What's going on? What is this? What is this? Um, and I called the bank and they were really, really gracious about it. But the problem was, you know, then I had to get a new card. Um, everything that I put on my card with regards to like recurring bills and stuff, um, mm -hmm. I had to go back and be like, okay, call these different, or get online, call the different companies and give them my new um, card number. It was just a mess. And then of course there are some that I forgot. So then, you know, 15 days later getting calls and text messages, uh, we didn't get your payment this. And I'm like, but it's, you know, so um, that was just a pain. It's, a pain. It's, it's definitely a headache and you have to wait to be reimbursed. Right. Okay. Right. right. It, you you have have to, they have to investigate to exactly. see if you actually, I'm like, well, whatever. Exactly. We know. Yeah. Has anyone, well, I know Johnny B and I, we experienced this personally and um, Tara, I'm not sure if she's listening, but when I say more time, as far as the PowerPoint, when you're dealing with the centralized system, mm. it takes a longer time for you to access your money. For example, uh, Robin Hood, I'm going on TD, TD Ameritrade, um, E-Trade. When you send them your money, well, it's not even sent. They set it up where it's an ACH, where they take it out of your bank. My mindset is, well, I just sent, hit yes. You took the money out of my bank. My banking institution withdrew it from my account. But they're saying, no, there's a waiting period. Mm -hmm. We cannot do anything until it goes through the process and hit our account. And I'm like, okay, dude, I can't get the stock that I want at this price and I have to wait three or four days. Right. And that's just an example. Even when um, in real estate, our transactions, we yep. have to wait until it funds. It hits the account before someone is paid. The, the client can't get their keys. There's just so much involved because there's a third party involved. For me to use my money, I'm going through a third party and I'm being charged fees. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. That that right there is it fair? You being charged to use your money? Of course not. That's where yeah. it originated from. <laughs> that's why this came up. Someone <laughs> y'all later on a little bit more deeper, but that's where this originated. Let's mm -hmm. go over to the decentralized market, which is digital currency. No monitoring. They can't monitor it. It's on a system called a blockchain, which we're going to go into more a little deeper next session. There's less fees. I mean, literally, look like cents. Um, there's no capability for fraud because it's encrypted. Beautiful, beautiful. Faster transactions because it's going from peer to peer. So if I wanted to send um, Johnny B some money, it's not going to go through Western. I'll use Boosie. Boosie's way in Detroit and I'm in Texas. And if I wanted to send her money, I can send it di directly to her like that through Bitcoin. No third party, no extra fees. She get it the same day within inst it's instantly in her account in something called a wallet okay mm -hmm. now like i said fiat currency is held in what institutions or your credit cards and things of that nature digital currency is held in something called digital wallets remember digital is up in the air it's encrypted you can't touch it right digital currency are held in wallets now for my visual learners this is just a view of how those transactions take place okay I want to jump because I think I did a pretty good job. Do we have any uh, questions in here? We um, actually don't have any questions from any questions on the difference between digital and fire currency. How yes. many of you already knew what fire it was? Okay. All right, we're gonna keep it moving. What I learned through my ten years of, of teaching, uh, unless the kids just high, which I experienced, they just high staring at me, they pay me attention. <laughs> But if you don't have questions, that means you explained it very well the first time. Right. That, that's what I was taught. But I have different experience with kids I was teaching. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, uh, Mr. William, I have right. a question. 
Not everybody knows. Could you explain what encrypted means? Mm. Oh. Can That's someone really explain it? Anybody out here? Or y'all want me to do it? I, I want you to do it. Oh, I'm talking about them, the other <laughs> traders. Oh, here. okay. I don't want to be the only one talking. I'm Johnny B. Well, lucky I, about I, it. I, I, I take a crack at it. Uh, <laughs> encrypted, I believe, is a, a type of code that where it's it makes it difficult for anyone to hack into something. It's mm -hmm. like a it's yeah, like a, that's right. a computer code to where it's hack free. No exactly. break into it. That's exactly what it is, and you said it best in layman's terms. Mm -hmm. Right. Hack free, it's coding. That any right. other questions before we move forward? Okay. So you know what did what crypto is, right? You know the difference between what we currently have and where we're going. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about how we're going to actually uh hold this money where is it held because it's going to be a change for all of us remember i said i was forced to go from the all black school to the white school mm -hmm. and i girl <laughs> i went through some stuff <laughs> girl told me to go back to africa boys oh god i almost got kicked out of another district <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what we're going to be we're going to be fighting it because it's new right you know what i'm saying but Digital wallets. Digital wallets are uh, well, it's offer a convenient way to pay. Like you said, it's, it's in the cloud. Mm -hmm. it's, it has a special key. And it's probably about, is it 18 or 16 characters long? That yeah. key is it, like your social security number. Hmm. That makes sense? Your wallet. You, can you have more than one wallet? Yes. So when you open your digital wallet to hold your cryptocurrency, you're gonna, your wallet is, I don't wish I brought my wallet. Your wallet is gonna be given a long digit, a key, and it's highly recommended that you lock it up because someone get access to that key, guess what they have access to? All of your money. Elaborate on that, honey. Um, just, <laughs> like she said, since it's in you, like your social security card, when somebody steals your social security money, I mean, your social security number, excuse me, they could take your identity, right? We have identity identity theft, which has been running rampant. The same thing happens with regards to this key because you have put all of your money in there um, and it's, again, solely yours. Once that's gone, you now don't have access to that. And because yep. it's not overseen, right? Like we were just talking about before, then there's nobody that can really help you get your stuff back. Yep. That's why you need to make sure that you have yourself and you put it in safe places where only you or somebody that you trust immensely um, has access to that. Because otherwise, you'll unfortunately lose everything that you've worked for. Yep. So don't just run out there and just say, hey, I'm about to be a trader. Hey, I'm, I watched it on yeah. YouTube. No, it's not going to work. There's so many elements to it that you definitely need to have coaching mentoring or learn from the experts not you there are experts on youtube but you can't talk to them right so you don't have that comfortability to be able to say hey why did you give me this 18 little characters what am i gonna do with this you gonna scrape save it and put it on dropbox it is gone mm -hmm. dropbox is not encrypted right. it can be hacked too okay so that's where you're gonna keep the money uh oh that's the extra one i should have deleted <laughs> all right uh, how many are there? There's a lot of cryptocurrencies, right? And according to Coin Market, there's over 6,700 currencies. Ooh. Do you know what that tells me? It's a lot of potential for growth. Yeah. Change fast. Yeah. But it also tells me we're behind. Yeah. It's not like. Five just came out last year, and now we're learning about it. They had time to issue 6,700. When, when was all this taking place? Well, let me tell you this, because I just saw this earlier today and was like, wow, I did not know this. Bitcoin turned 12 on January 3rd. January 3rd. Say what? January 3rd, Bitcoin turned 12. So Bitcoin has been out since 2009, wow. and most ago. people didn't know that. So like now we're like you said, we're behind. We're just now like, oh yeah, cryptocurrency. Yeah, we heard it. And it was like a little whisper, but nobody was really putting much stock into it yep. because everybody's been afraid of it for the most part. Like there's no, it's no, there's no security, is mm -hmm. what people thought. Um, <laughs> we're learning more, but the fact that Bitcoin has been out for 12 years and that we just now getting on the bus. 
my eyes opened up. And I'm, I was one of those naive individuals. And I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. My son introduced me to crypto. Mm-hmm. So when he presented it to me, Ma, this is the new thing. You know me, you hear somebody say new thing, it sounds like a what? A fad, a trend, mm-hmm. or a scam. You know, so here my son is, Ma, you need to get this Bitcoin, everybody buying this. I was like, well, what is it? He couldn't explain it properly. So naturally, I, I don't have time for that. Sound like something y'all doing on y'all video games. And what I miss out on. At that moment, it was like maybe a thousand or two dollars, and it's worth what now, Johnny B? Uh, right now, check today, it's at around thirty-two to thirty-four thousand dollars a share. Mm-hmm. Look at that growth! I could have been a millionaire today. Yep. <laughs> right. Off a of bit. Just to back on what you were saying, I don't want to interrupt. Yeah. Just to back on what you were saying earlier, right. Capri. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know everyone heard the, uh, the saying that change is in, inevitable, if I'm saying that word mm-hmm. correct, but um, right. I'm, in my profession, I'm a, a barber. Now, back in the day when I first started, I dealt with a lot of cash. Now, over the years, since now, the last five to ten years, is ways of paying. They pay me through credit card. They pay me through cash mm-hmm. out. They, they, I rarely ever have cash on me, so you either going to adapt to change or it's going to change you on your own. So I advise everyone out here to try to get ahead of it and try to embrace it and learn it now before you're forced to have to change it and you, you put you in an uncomfortable situation. Because it's coming. If I yeah. went from dealing with nothing but cash where I had to go put my money in the bank, now it's literally going from their bank to my bank without me even touching it. Yeah. And it's the same thing with to, uh, um, with cryptocurrency. I too found out about it years ago by co-workers and I, not being educated on it, I just immediately ignored it and thought it was something bad that wasn't going to be around. Don't be that person that's saying, I wish I would or uh, should have, could have, would right. <clears throat> Embrace change. Embrace learning something new and it'll benefit you later. What happened to the guy that was at your job that y'all was, y'all was uh, mocking? With the Bitcoin, uh, right? he made a nice little piece of change off of it. So <laughs> <laughs> he's no longer with Parkland, and he's living nice right about now. <laughs> jokes on him, really bullying him. That's what society say now. We call it scorn, but they were bullying him. And when they known better, they would have really got up under his wing, and they would be mm-hmm. in this nice big old house like he is right now. So. <laughs> And, and I know, and I say that, and I tell Johnny B, I was like, you know what? A lot of people are gonna say, damn, Capri, I should have listened to you. Right. I, I, I know it's coming because I said it to my son, like, damn, I should have listened. I should have got in when it was like a thousand dollars. And he, and he, I don't know if y'all noticed why I started a live that Tony was on with me last week. He called us in the middle of a live telling us about another cryptocurrency. What do mm-hmm. I do? I got my butt off of this. Uh, off of that lie, and I went and went and made that purchase. I said, I'm not about to repeat the same mistakes twice. And like it was so real time and so poignant and so just great at the time. Mm-hmm. He told us he called, and then like 20 minutes later, he was like, Ma, get off the phone. I just got $90. Like <laughs> 20 minutes. Yep. $90. Yep. So yeah. So it, it's real. If if to me that was like I said, it was poignant because. If you needed to see real time, if you needed to like get that in your head, you saw that with Tez because he was even putting it up like this is what it is. This is how it's going. You can see it right now. So yeah. it was great. It was it was very um, timely. Yeah, I learned my lesson. So I went and bought like I think we got a total of eighty nine thousand coins. Mm-hmm. So um, we're just sitting impatiently and waiting. It's kind of like stock. You wait on it to go up and then you don't. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't say pump and dump because according to the stock market, that's a negative that's, quotation. Yeah. Uh-huh. But we can't kind of sell high. I live like that. <laughs> Hello? So can I say something? Uh huh. Look, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Capri, I'm going to give you a major plug. Let me get a pen. People, people without a vision perish. Yes. Mm-hmm. This education, this is not meant for African Americans. Oh, we forgot to say that. <laughs> okay, this is historically is you got institutionalized racism, systemic racism. You're never going to learn these things right. unless a person like I'm talking about our people. Yeah, 
Okay, it's a different standard in the United States. This is a capitalist society. Yeah. You guys know what that is. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have an educator like Capri involved with crypto, how are you going to learn? Right. You've got to, each one got to teach one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm a firm believer in knowing your history. And Capri knows that. Mm -hmm. But She's, you, you know, you can't, and I'm not because she's my daughter, but I'm learning a lot from her about mm -hmm. this. But she's going to handle my trading for me. <laughs> yeah, right. That's I'm just my mama, so I get it. It makes sense. Okay, to say, you better tell it. You better tell mm -hmm. it. Yeah, she's going <laughs> to tell it. That's why we got on here. And you know what, you guys? Listen to your elders. They've been there, done that. Right. You need to have someone with a voice of reason that can educate you. Like she said, her his, she know history. Boom, boom, boom. I know math. I'm, I'm more the logic, factual. She's like the history and English and that. That's not me. So we, she educate. I call her, what is that? Capri, you need to read more. Well, I just asked her. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, she's hit the nail on the head. We forgot to even mention how right. this information is scarce for yeah. us. I did not learn this. At, no, 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 uh, no, nothing negative about Michigan State, but they didn't teach me this. And I have a degree in business administration, uh, a graduate and an undergraduate degree right. in business. And, and not <laughs> one of those institutions taught me about this. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So we'll go into that in another session. But you <laughs> definitely need to make sure you share this live, share it, because I have a lot of people, their kids are learning this. Mm -hmm. You best. Mm -hmm. My grandbaby know his colors. I'm gonna say that red line means you're <laughs> gonna know his numbers. He might not right. know that, but he can tell you, he's gonna be able to tell you the trend of a chart and what's gonna happen next. Mm -hmm. So let's go over these different because we over our time because it's a good conversation. So it looks like we might be another 15 minutes. So make sure you guys stay on board with us. Um, like we said, there's over 6,700 of uh, cryptocurrencies. Wake up. It took time for those to come into existence. So that means, like she said, 2009, I had no clue back in 2009 what was going right. on. And I'm going to, when I share with y'all why 2009 was so important, y'all going to be like, oh my God. So we're going to go over that. And a next meeting is going to, I mean, a next uh, topic is coming. But check this out. The most popular ones are Ethereum, Litcoin, and these are the actual symbols for those. Um, Ethereum, Litcoin, Ripple, Dash, but the big daddy of them all is Bitcoin. Bitcoin. That's the most known. It's the most branded. You know what I'm saying? But those are the most five popular ones. Um, of course, Dogecoin and now uh, Troncoin, they're mm -hmm. they're going today. I get um, alerts. I paid like $200. I paid $200 to get ratings and get updates on, on this stuff. I'm serious about it. Because I already know what's about to happen, and I'm not about to be left behind. They don't put me on no, uh, uh, what do you call it, on no stuff like it's no food stamp card and, and all that. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to hang with the big boys, and I'm about to be in that other room. Right. To, to these and, uh, uh, white uh, Capri, we forgot to tell them as we're speaking right now, Chase and Facebook yeah. is in the process of getting them a digital cryptocurrency. Yes, well. I saw that the other day. Yep. yep. Mark yep. Zuckerberg ahead of the game. Well, no, he's not, because if he's just not doing it, he's behind like we are. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But he's a billionaire. Him and Chase, Chase <laughs> behind. So, hey, mm -hmm. I don't feel bad if he's just not doing it. And I know he's smart or he's lucky one. I think he's just privileged, because I think every last one of us on this are live just as smart as he is in our own way. Yeah. He's very true. He's techie. We actually, we're given the opportunity. We'll make just as much money as he could without all the barriers and stuff. But we're gonna we're gonna lock, we're gonna keep going on that one. But um, <laughs> okay, so these are all the the most popular. But again, you need to learn like, what are we working with. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Literally, are we working? I literally want to show y'all what a trade actually looks like. Can I do that? I don't, have to, I don't know if I can share my screen like that. I don't know how to do it. So I don't want to mess it up. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let me see, because I know last time I tried to share something. I'm going to show you something right now. You did it last Thursday. No, I was going to actually show it on the... Oh, uh, I see. Okay. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Jelly, really. you show yours since uh, mine is, is blocked out. 
Yeah, uh, you blocked out. I'm blocked out because of Wealth Wednesday. Johnny B, show yours. Right. Right. What, what am I uh, showing? I'm, I, yeah. I don't know how to show up. Can I show up on my phone? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Your account. Well, I'm on, I'm on oh. my phone. Oh, he's on his phone, though. Oh, you're on your phone. Okay, I'll yeah. do it in just a second. We're going to... Um, so, any questions? I see old girl. Look at her. I'm yep. assuming you are already uh, trading. I do not want to butcher your name. How do I pronounce her name? We're going to call you E. That's what I'm going to call you. E dog. E said yes, Dogecoin. So E, did you purchase any Dogecoin? I hope you got some, honey, because it's going to go up tomorrow. When is the 4th? Yes. February 4th is when Dogecoin yep. is supposed to go bing. It's supposed to change the game. So if you have not already purchased it, Dogecoin in um, um, TRX uh, is the ticker for the Tron uh, crypto. Those two tomorrow are supposed to be game changers. That's why you need to be part of our community so you can learn all this stuff. Right. Let me know who you're trading with, um, E. Any questions? Y'all don't have no questions? They're kind of easy. They're quiet. Okay. <laughs> right. okay, well, what we'll do is we'll go into the next one. That really concludes what cryptocurrency is. Okay, we have a, a, a plethora of um, <coughs> information. I've got a whole curriculum for y'all. Don't we? Fairbanks. We can put together we can oh, yep. questions and everything. Do you think they would want to know, um, like, if crypto, like, really has a future? And I know we say, oh, it's, it's coming, it's big, it's big. But what about in reference to, like, the, the hard cash and, and the coins that we have now? Um, like, what is the future for Will that? they not be things anymore? Will they, will they just be kind of eradicated, you think? In my personal opinion, mm -hmm. it's going to be a, a gradual process, but mm -hmm. eventually we're going to transition over to digital. I there feel like I think the same way. And one of the things that really hit home for me with that was with COVID, because I don't know about in, in Dallas before I moved out, I don't recall seeing this, but I know here in Oklahoma City, um, we go to different places and they would request, they're like, we're out of coins. Um, we need coins. If you have right, coins, right. pay with coins. And I'm like, wait, how you run out of what? How do you? Um, so I, that made me think too. Like, okay, this is this is real. Like, we're moving towards because if you have a shortage of cold cash money, um, what's gonna happen? Yeah. So it, because of course they can't print more because when you print more, that means it's worth less. Yeah. So what man. happens? So I was just like, hmm, that, that's a, a question that I was thinking about. Yeah, um, I think that eventually it, it will be. Uh, uh, Fire Banks, in my, I'm sorry, my opinion, Fire Banks, to answer your question, mm -hmm. I don't think it's going anywhere. I really, uh, truly believe it's the future because mm -hmm. uh, if you do your research in Dubai right now, they have cities that they're doing nothing but cryptocurrency. You can't use right. cash or, you know, by currency, you you have to do it through crypto. They have yeah. companies that operate strictly on cryptocurrency in Dubai as we speak right now. Yep. So it's it's the future. It's so, what I was yeah. about to say. Uh, yeah, it's the future. In the yeah. United States is behind. Uh, yeah. They're supposed to be the super world power, but yeah. as far as technology and crypto and things like that, mm -hmm. they're nowhere as advanced. Yeah, and other uh, nations. Yeah, it was so, it was more so like we're, we're we excuse me we're resting mm -hmm. on our laurels as number one, and there were people that were still hungry mm -hmm. in the spot, and so now that's how we're in the situation that we're in now. I'm gonna have to have a conversation off the off of this. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta be politically correct down here. Oh, yeah, have so we'll talk. <laughs> right. I have a question. You guys stated, <laughs> okay, before we mentioned how the centralized market, how they make their money, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. holding our money, this, that, and the other. So what are they going to do? If you're saying yeah. cryptocurrency is eventually going to become the way we do it, that means where's Bank of America? What are they going to do? They're going to have to follow suit. We already said, just like Facebook and, and Chase, um, right. they're going to go right. where the money right. goes. You know, right. and where people go, of course, that's how they got their money. So they're just going to tweak a little, a couple of things and right. 
you know, make it more, uh, make it profitable for them again. Um, the, the good thing about where we're at though now is that because we're ahead of the curve or getting ahead of the curve, um, we're not going to need them. Yep. You know, we're going to be, you know, I don't want to say so far advanced, but we're going to be in positions to where we're not going to need any of those institutions because we have already done our due diligence. We've already been in the game and, and got some skin in the game. You know what I'm saying? To be able to make those choices to, to decide, hey, do I want to even do this? Exactly. Not because, again, like how they're doing now, you're making money off of my money. And I don't see any of that profit. Yep, none. You're not supposed to. Right. Uh -oh. Okay. And then this you told me to use my money. money. <laughs> like I was saying earlier. So <laughs> yeah, not. wait a minute. You well, got to get on cryptocurrency, girl. Hey, exactly. hey, you know what I'm Y'all already know what I'm about to do, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to have some true, a true coin. That's what I was just going to say. Start your own. I'm about to get in the game. I'm not about to be red shirted and I'm not about to sit on no bitch. I'm getting some right. playing time and I'm going to go to starting five. Throwing assist, dunking, and everything yes. else. Yeah, like dime to the side real quick. No, no right. Dude, I'm about to figure out how do I get my own coin like Mark is doing. There you go. There you go. That's now what you can figure out as African Americans. Yes. Yeah, yep. you know what I'm saying. From my understanding, there's what five African American banks in the in the United States. I know that's about it. One of them is in uh, Houston. Mm -hmm. Right. Sure the other ones are located. There's actually one here in Oklahoma City. In Michigan, really? the first one. The mission was the first. First Independence National Bank is African American owned. Mm. Yeah, and been oh. that way for about twenty or thirty years or more because I, I was a member on the board and everything. So the banks need to start uh, those African American banks on banks. They need to get their own coin for us to invest. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, because trust and believe is the process. If it's too easy, Capri, even if it's hard, I'm still gonna try. Yeah. Right, right, right. I love to have a true coin. <laughs> That's the That's true coin. Yeah. That's yeah, the yeah. Girl, we can break. <laughs> All things are possible, baby girl, with the That's Lord. True. That That's about true. To ask somebody. Okay. That's gonna be my next market research. I just got this on educating y'all. Now we're gonna put it into fruition. How do we right. create our own, not just buy somebody else? There you go. Yep. There you yeah. go. We got enough power for African Americans uh, in the world. Some of them I have no respect for because they have not done anything for us. But mm -hmm. we have enough that I feel will create a space for that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And if we could just, they probably don't even know about cryptocurrency. I'm going to be honest with you. There they you go. They too work. No, it's no, I don't know. No, they don't. They too no, work. They're expresses and, and, and fit and, and, and um, being a part of the norm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And black card and all that, not realizing they have so much money, they could have owned their own card. Yeah, that's true. What was that man's name Um, who had the, his own card? Rush? What was his name? Uh -huh. Russell Simmons. He had the Rush, Rush card. card. Mm -hmm. he, was ahead of his, he was ahead of his, his own time, and that was, yep. ooh, that was a long time ago. Yep. Right. But it's just so, I just see this stuff just going so much further than, um, I ever thought, you know, I, I do wish that I would have jumped on it back then, but they always say God doesn't make any mistakes and everything right. for a reason. So I am thankful that I am in a position to learn as much as I can and then disseminate it to you guys and my people. But, you know, I can lead you out of water, but I can't make you drink. Exactly. So, but at the end of the day, if you, if you're really interested in partaking on this journey on Capri, how do let me see if I could, um, uh, like Capri, how do I? I think I gotta. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop sharing my screen. How do I get into this? How do I buy it? How do I learn about it? We have a whole platform for that. Anybody? I'm gonna pull up the screen. Anybody else want to talk about it? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to use break. No, you not me. What? Not yet. <laughs> Y'all be so careful. here it comes. We're gonna talk about, but I'll do the drum roll. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm on the um. I'm gonna keep the drum see my Yes, we can mm -hmm. see it. Keep drum I know what I'm uh, What is? Yeah, read that. No. <laughs> um. No, we can't read that. It's small. Can't read oh. that. Johnny B. Know what it is. I don't know why you didn't say none. 
You see this paycheck, 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 paycheck. overcome paycheck to paycheck. We have our own digital currency platform. These are the testimonials that I have received from notable uh, people in reference to my efforts for educating people on financial literacy. But more importantly, my traders, these are all traders on this line that you're talking to currently. Um, I have uh, free eBooks to teach you about the top 10 secrets of cryptocurrency, Forex and things of that nature. But more importantly, our uh, scholar, I call them scholars, our scholars that actually participate in the, the actual university and learning how this all works. Dude, you, you, you can actually learn this. You don't have to wonder like, oh, that's me. Y'all have to <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm goofy. Yeah, right. But at the end of the day, if you're truly interested in learning more about cryptocurrency, you have to get educated. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm being honest with you. Wealth Wednesday is a brief introduction. We're not actually going deep into it. It's more like, hey, we top surface. But if you want to learn more, you need to attend our academy. Yep. So you have to take, I always say it, take that first step. First step. You have to do it. And we're going to have, what, 19 more topics so far. So how many weeks is that? Four times four, 16. So that'd be about five more months. It's, it's five months, including today. Yeah. So we have a five-month uh, curriculum tailored around the cryptocurrency <clears throat> and Forex world to educate you. And mm -hmm. all we're doing is making the introduction. If you want to learn more, you need to – let me see if I have my banner. You can go to my site, capritravillian.info, and it'll take you to that website that I just showed you. Go to the website, do your due diligence, watch the videos and see what can I do? I want to learn more. I want to get ahead of the curve. I want to go more in deep. I understand Capri did top surface, but I, I don't just want to learn. I want to get in the game and what? Make some money. Make some money. <laughs> Get in the game and make some money. Let me show you how easy it is. Y'all see my phone? It's a little dirty, but <laughs> that's my phone. Okay. And as you can see, those are all cryptocurrencies. Can y'all really see it or is it just mm, it's kind of well a little bit? A little all cryptocurrency. I go to Ethereum right there. What I tell y'all, yeah. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and they have plenty more, right? My phone went out. But let me tell you what, if I went right here to, um, let me cut this light down. That's the problem. That trying to look cute and stuff. There it Where go. you at? I'm at home. I got a whole studio in the house. No, so I don't know. Know. I'm going right? to click on Ethereum real quick. You see the chart? Yep. Mm -hmm. Buy. Yep. You literally can I buy crypto, crypto coin from your phone. I'm going to hit the chart and it's going to buffer. And you see where it is now? Yeah. See, the best time to buy anything is when it's low. Remember, yeah. buy low, sell high. Yeah. But right now, if someone got in earlier today, this is at set what seventeen hundred dollars. Five o'clock. So this was five o'clock today. It was down here on the bottom, and look how it shot up. Boom. Mm -hmm. So in one day, people making thousands of dollars from their right. phone. Literally, that's how easy it is. No more calling up your old school broker. Hey, Bill. And I said Bill. Yeah. Bill and a Jack and a Dick. Hey, hey, hey. That's my brother's name now. My man, how, Bill, how your brother's name Bill? Short for... No, Bill. his daddy's name is Bill. So... <laughs> Bill. <laughs> See, I no. Get <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's short for Bill is something. There ain't no uh, black K. But um, you see how I was down and went up? Boom, and mm -hmm. one day we could have made money, and it's right here. It just says buy. That's how easy it is for you to win. That's how easy it is. You have no choice to be suffering from paycheck to paycheck. You have no choice to, what Boosie say, perish. Right. You have no choice to be complaining. You got to make a difference and do something. Mm -hmm. That's how easy it is. When I was introduced to this by the tip of my fingers, I said, hold on. Um, something ain't right. You mean all I got to do is watch a chart, but we teach you how to watch the chart. Common sense, which is something the majority of us have. You know what I'm saying? If you got enough common out. sense, majority, not even you, majority. But you know what I say. Common sense is a misnomer. You and Boosie. Not hey, so it's not common. But look at it. You get <laughs> in low, 
and sell high without knowing yeah. anything, just by looking at. That's why that's I said true. my grandbaby, he gonna know what up and down is and side to side of his colors. Mm -hmm. He can do this, can he, Johnny B? Yes, ma'am. How come I don't see your screen? What? I don't see it. Do y'all see it? Yeah. Somebody I don't see screen it. Then, Boosie. Yeah. But it's yeah. right there. Let me see if I can put myself up so y'all can see it. Boom. That better? I don't see it. Okay, something wrong with your computer then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so basically, that's it. Yeah. It's pretty simple. And I have several accounts. You know, you can go in there. Here's another one for uh, Forex trading. I don't know if y'all can see Euro in the uh, US dollar. You go in and it's basically reading charts again. That's how these people are making money, dude. I know high schoolers making twelve hundred a day. You know why? They're a little bit more advanced than we are when it comes to these charts. And they stay on the phone. They stay on the phone. We got we grown folks. We got bills to pay, so we have activities that need to take place for us to pay some bills. We ain't got time to be on this all day. But you want to know what I do? Tell them what I do, Johnny B. Like at two or three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> uh, you stop. Uh, you set your limits. You uh, set your ceilings and your floors. So you know how much money you're gonna make and how much money you're gonna lose. Now he's speaking to y'all as a professor that's a little over their head. <laughs> they don't know what ceiling the floors are. Well, you know what's yeah. the ceiling is <laughs> figured out. But at two o'clock in the morning, I'll get up and trade. 2 a.m. You can do it the stock market, because you remember we're on the East Coast time. But with Bitcoin is 247. Uh with Forex is what? Um Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. But make a long story short, me personally. 2 a.m. is best for me because my phone is not ringing. Remember, I'm using my phone. If it read or if it ring or a text message come through, what happened? I got to stop. I don't have time for that. So 2 in the morning, right. I dedicate my time to this. And you can make a couple hundred bucks or a couple thousand, whatever your leverage is, before you go to work in the morning. So That's true. this technology encompassed with the new currency, you better get on board. I don't have to go to Bank of America and sit down and talk to a banker and say, oh, I'm interested in making an investment today. Sign your name on the book and have a seat. We'll get somebody somebody get with you. Stop meeting with drop. So okay. we're going to close out. We almost been an hour, y'all. But right. it was a good conversation. Uh, <laughs> we're going to close out. Anything else you guys want to say? I don't see any uh, questions in here. So we're going to close it out. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Y'all want to see? I enjoyed it. Um, actually, E said, thank you for the platform, for this platform of education. So um, as educators, I'm going to speak on behalf of myself and Capri. As educators, um, that's great for us to hear um, yeah. because that is something that's one of our passions outside of, you know, making money in real estate. Um, education is something that we've been driven to do. It's what God has placed on our hearts. And so um, that, that really means a lot. So thank you, E, for, for saying that. Yes, it lets us know that our time is appreciated and what we're doing is really making a change. All it takes is one. Right. Just if we say one, I feel we've done our job. Mm -hmm. We have a classroom of 30 kids. Who okay. That's my little sister. I'm definitely about to do some research. Thank you, girl. Please, you. please do your research. We can help you with the research. Just come on to our Wealth Wednesdays. We'll give you a little tidbit. Then you'll know where to go. We're going to give you the guidance. Um, but always do your due diligence. I don't care who you're speaking with, even myself. Let me go see if this, what this girl said right. She knows right. She knows you can Google me. You can Google all of us. We have credentials. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close out with this. We're not some fly-by-night people who just decided to get on a bandwagon. We are highly educated. And I ain't trying to uh, toot my own horn, but we got it going on. The last thing I left is actually Dr. Trevelyan in education. So trust and believe we are well quick from an intellectual standpoint to guide you you know what I'm saying? We're well quick to uh, to guide you and help you be successful with this platform. OK, mm -hmm. again, anything you do, uh, you're going to need a team in a community. Tonia is what's your uh, sorority again? You know, I know, but I just like when you do the stuff. <laughs> Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Dang, what y'all do? Lord, oh, you're so fascinated <laughs> with it. <laughs> you're the call. Ooh, and then, of course, what, you, you want to get it? I exactly. So she's a part of an organization, and for her to get make that a team, they call them what y'all call them, line sisters. Mm -hmm. It took a, a, a crew of them to help get over that, uh, what y'all call it, to pledge. Mm -hmm. To pledge. She had to have somebody, what, assist her 
I can go on and on. LeBron James is not who he is by himself. He has a team. Who else can I say? Uh, Moses had a crew too. We all Nobody. got uh, Jesus had 12 of them. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? So who am I to say I don't need anybody? He needed somebody. So you right. definitely need someone to embark on this new future. It's coming. Yep. I don't I don't know what to tell you. I I'm gonna tell you right now, 10 years from now, I am I am gonna say I told you so, but I'm gonna add another A double S in there. I'm gonna say <laughs> I told you so. <laughs> right. We're gonna have our music. That's yeah. all I'm gonna say, because we're gonna be millionaire, million, billion, you know. Exactly. Because I hate to say it, when you're always the first to do something, you're mocked. Yep, you're laughed at. You know what I'm saying? You're laughed at, you're discouraged, people tell you you're That's crazy. Right. They always have something negative to say because they can't understand it and they don't relate to it. They laughed at Noah and we see what happened there in the Bible. So come, Amen. On. come on, somebody. Come when on. You are anointed by God and nobody can follow you. It's a gift. A gift. And it's true. to everybody gifts and different measurement of gifts. Yes. And I can testify being the first and I'm not going to go there. We'll do it another time. And a history maker and a trailblazer. They hate you. They're jealous of you. They're envious you. But what God got for you, can't no man stop. That Amen. is so Amen. true. Speaking of facts, my boozy. Let's go. <laughs> All right, you guys. We're going to close out on that note next week, 6.30. Um, I always mess up with these time zones. 6.30. <laughs> 7.30, 6.30 Central. That's how they say it on TV. They get an equal time first. And the, the Central time second. See, that's why I keep smart people around me. Hey, that much. I am not insecure. I feel like they're gonna have some smart uh -uh around me. You know mm -hmm. what? It's gonna help me what shine. Yep, that's right. And Excellent then, show. Excellent. Because I, I am a I don't know anything about what you're teaching, but I have well, you've been teaching me behind the scenes, but this is a world for me that I am so impressed and I thank you so much Capri for letting the Lord guide you and use you and having an open mind and to teach. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you guys for being a part of it and being part of my team and allow me and trusting me to actually help share this with the world. So this is just the beginning. They all gonna, they're laughing at us now. Like Carrie, they're all going to laugh at you. They're all <laughs> laughing at us now. Right. <laughs> But we're going to be taking some money to, well, we don't have to go to the bank. So never mind. We're going to take it to our wallets. I got my wallet. I got my phone. I don't know about yeah. y'all. I'm going to share this with you real quick. When I found out that you can buy real estate with crypto, I was done. Wait, that's a whole nother topic. That's yeah. For those 19 more weeks. So make sure you tune in with us next week, uh, Wealth Wednesday, for the next night or the next five months. 19. Yeah, 19 weeks. The next uh, five months, we're going to discuss nothing but cryptocurrency, the world, and what we, where we're going with it. So my computer is acting up. <laughs> I'm trying to close out. So we'll see you next week, Wealth Wednesday, and more advice you can bank on. Holla. Yep. Bye, y'all. Hope to see y'all next week. Not hope to. We will see you next yeah, week. We will. If I can get my computer. There we go. Let me end this. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>